we are given that the vector cross product a cross x is equal to the vector b. Now taking the cross product with vector a on both sides we get on the left hand side the vector triple product a cross a cross x and the right hand side is equal to a cross b. The left hand side is equal to a dot x times vector a minus a dot a times vector x and this is equal to the right hand side which is a cross b. Now we are given that the dot product a dot x is equal to the scalar c and also a dot a is equal to the square of the absolute value of vector a. Therefore the above equation can be written as absolute value of vector a whole square times vector x is equal to c times vector a minus a cross b. Now we divide both sides by the absolute value of vector a whole square which is given to be non-zero and so the value of vector x is equal to c times vector a minus a cross b divided by the square of the absolute value of vector a which is the required answer.